When you're asked to graph a rational function, you're going to have an equation that looks like this. f of x equals a negative 1 over a negative x minus 4. Um, this is a possible example that you might get. And um, basically what you're going to end up doing is you're going to find um, a vertical asymptote, that's this dashed line right here, and a horizontal asymptote. And then you're going to find two points, okay, um, on each side of this asymptote here, the vertical asymptote, plot those points, and um, sketch a curve. So your graph's going to look something like this when you're done. Okay, your graph gets closer and closer to these asymptotes, but never they never cross the, those values. Okay, so let's look at um, how we find those values, and they're actually not too terribly bad. So um, to find the horizontal asymptote, remember horizontal is going this way. You look at the degree of the numerator. Okay, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then y equals 0 is the horizontal asymptote. So here, you see how there's no x value here? That means the degree is smaller than this degree. They're not the same. So this is the first case here. And so our um, horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0. So y equals 0 is actually goes along the x-axis here. Okay. So we just plotted that, um, that asymptote there. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to plot, find the um, vertical asymptote. So how do you do that? Well, you set the denominator here equal to 0. Okay. So we're going to take a negative x minus 4, set it equal to 0. And solve it for x. So we add 4 to both sides, divide both sides by negative 1, and you get x equals a negative 4. So that means our graph is going to get closer and closer to that value. So we click on here. We go x is a negative 4. We click there on that line. Um, if your value is not an exact um, either negative 4 or negative 3 or not an exact integer, it's like 2 and a half or 5 thirds, then you're going to need to use plot a couple points using this plot a point anywhere and you can plot a couple points along that line where you know it's going to be and uh, then sketch it that way okay so we were gonna we've got those sketched and then we the next thing you're gonna do is you want to find a couple points on both sides of this horizontal asymptote. So in this case, maybe I'll pick um, negative 5 and negative 6. So two points to the left of the vertical asymptote. And then we can find two points to the right of the asymptote. So here's my asymptote over here. So I'm going to think maybe I'm going to just pick uh, maybe negative 2 and 0 for x. And then it's a matter of plugging these into your function here. So I'm going to replace x here with a negative 5. So I'm going to get a negative 1 over the opposite of negative 5 is 5 minus 4. So I simplify that. That's going to give me a negative 1 over 1, which gives me a negative 1 here. And then I do the same thing for a negative 6. I am going to plug in a negative 6 in here for x, so opposite of a negative 6 is a positive 6 minus 4, and that's going to give me 6 minus 4 is 2, so it's a negative 1 over 2, negative 1 half. Okay, so I'm going to plot those points, negative 5, negative 1, and then I'm going to use this exact plotter to plot that part, point um, when x is a negative 6, y is going to give me um, the fraction negative 1 over 2. You can put that negative in front of there or up in the top. Whoops. Okay, and then I'm just going to plot that point that way. Okay, so you can see I've got two points over here. You can do more than that if you'd like, um, but that's what they asked you to do. Do points, two points on each piece of the graph. 
Okay, so now I'm going to have, I'm going to do the other side here. So I come over here, I'm going to plug in a negative 2 in here for x. So I'm going to get a negative 1 over the opposite negative 2 is 2, 2 minus 4. And that's going to give me a negative 2, right? So negative 1 over negative 2 is a positive 1 half. Okay, now we continue this process. We're going to plug in 0 in here. And I'm going to get a negative 1 over 0 minus 4. So a negative 1 over negative 4 is going to give me a positive 1 fourth. So we're going to go over here to our graph and we're going to plot those values. So negative 2 and a positive 1 half. Plot that point. Do the same thing over here. And I'm going to do 0 and 1 fourth. Okay, so now you can see I've got my two points, and now I'm going to pick this graph here for my curves, and it graphs my curves nicely for me. Okay. And then I would click, you know, if I was doing that, then you're done. You submit your question. Okay. Now, here is a different type of graph. Okay, it's, it's actually the other case. Do you see how the x values are the same? So the x values are the same. So what happens is you take the coefficients if the x values are the same to find the horizontal asymptote. So you take 2 over 2 and that equals 1 and y equals 1 is your horizontal um, asymptote. Okay, so we could do that y is 1. Okay, then we're going to come back over here and we're going to find our vertical asymptote. So remember, we take the denominator, we set it equal to 0, and we solve it for x. These are the values that x cannot equal because they're undefined when the denominator is 0. So we subtract 4 from both sides and divide both sides by 2 and you're going to get x equals a negative 2. So that is your vertical asymptote. Okay, And then we're going to pick a couple values to the left here, a couple values to the right, and we're going to graph those. Okay, So I know we're kind of running out of time on our video, so just want to kind of take you back to this. Um, so that's the process. You're going to find the, vert the horizontal asymptotes. Remember, there's two cases here for that. You're going to find the vertical asymptote by setting the denominator, denominator equal to 0. Sketch those asymptotes. Pick your x values on both sides of the vertical asymptotes, two on each side. Plug them in, find the y values, and sketch both curves. Okay, so let's look at... Um, another example here. So here I look at this equation f of x equals a negative 5 over 4x minus 8. So I'm looking at that there's no x up here in the numerator so this value has for my horizontal asymptote y equals 0. Okay, So you're gonna go right across here y equals 0. Then you're gonna take the denominator set it equal to 0 4x minus 8 equals 0 solve it that gives you your vertical asymptote. Pick a couple values on the right of the asymptote, sorry, on the left, and a couple values on the right. Okay, so two values on each side. Plug them into your equation to solve for y. Find out the, what the y values are for each of those x values you picked. Sketch the curve. Okay.